Hello. Looks like we're going to be starting off a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 5 today. Mm. Did you play the Grand Theft Autos a lot? I did. I did. I played uh, I played all of them, actually. Um, I even played the old school ones where the view from the top. I'm sorry, like... where are we at? Lunderoff? Is this Russia? Mother Russia? What the heck? I want subtitles on it. As soon as we can put subtitles on, let's put those bad boys. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, is that you? Uh, I have no idea. I, I can't move yet. Okay. It's, just, it's showing us our radar, I think. Let's go okay, hit pause, go. hit pause. Hit oh, yeah. pause. See if we can go and put some... So, I mean, what, what are the games that you What are the Grand Theft Autos you played? I played the one for the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, you know, Vice Display, City. Which maybe? one? Display? Audio? Voice chat? No? Okay, it's not audio. Try to display. Subtitles. Subtitles. There it is. Yeah. So, like, did you play Grand Theft Auto 3, which was the first one that came out for a PS2? Yes. Okay. I have played them, so I have done this before. Uh, it's been quite a long time, actually. But what's the one that came out for the 360? The last one Grand was, Theft Auto it, was 4. it four? Yeah. Yeah, I played that. I played that all the way through. When so, I was achievement hunting, I tried to get 100% game completion on that. And those pigeons, finding all the pigeons, was a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> see the thing was the hostages. Got it. See the thing is, when I went through and played these. I enjoyed it. The only one that I played that I actually completed the story mode was Grand Theft Auto 3, and I played it for the PlayStation, uh, but I, I took it from my buddy Matt. Like, I, I borrowed it from him so I could play it, and then I never did anything else with it. It's kind of an interesting start. There's no freaking menu for this game. Yeah, there's no menu. It's basically giving a tutorial right now, but it's not like one that you have oh, to... Oh, you're triggering explosives. Doing... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Call it. Call him. Am I calling that? Yeah, you're calling it. Alright, hello. Hello. Oh, I'll stop there. Just go. Duh. But I never really got into the... Like, I never... In, though I, I have every Grand Theft Auto, except for San Andreas, uh, that's come out for the Xbox. Like, Xbox and Xbox 360. I've got Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City. Uh, I don't have San Andreas. I have four. And I've only completed one of them, and I actually hardly completed Vice City. Like, I played maybe a quarter of it. I played two missions on four, and then I played online the rest of the time, which was for about a month, and then I never played it again. The online uh, is a great concept. I didn't think they really nailed it in four. I'm hoping they fixed it. The, not fixed it, but, like, did well with this in, in five here. The only thing I did was, like, the ones where you were... Shoot him in the face. I saw your face. I remember you. Get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is... Wait, what the hell am I doing? Switch. Just switch. You hold down. Huh. That's kind of neat. Zoom in on him. Hit his face. Right in the, right in the eyeball? Oh, right in the eyeball. You didn't have to do that. Let's get going. There'll be time for grieving later. Well, that was pretty neat. The one thing it said that I didn't really get was it said flick the right stick to go between targets. And Maybe when there's multiple targets, you can hit left and right, and they'll do like the. Well, yeah, there was. I guess those those were civilians. They weren't targets. We yeah. To do that. Yeah, that's why. Was we getting in cover? I guess. Maybe behind that box on the left. What are you doing? Find some cover. I did. I'm setting the target. This is. Uh, I actually I played uh, Red Dead Redemption recently, so. The controls are basically the same. <laughs> they feel pretty comfortable right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> they're very comfortable. No, but like the only thing I did was the online, and I did the ones, not even like the missions, it was just, it, you all got into a city and just ran, uh, wreaked havoc on the entire city. Right. That's all I ever did. Yeah, I didn't really, the missions, like, I did them because I was trying to get 100% game completion. Get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way. Yeah, get out of the way. Can, hey. you, can you switch right now? I'm trying to do that flight thing. Yeah, that's that's the kind of the weak part about this, like these uh, Rockstar games. All you do is tap the left trigger. Oh yeah. And it auto aims for you. I called it when we did the Eleventh Moon review on uh, what do you call it? Uh, La Noir. Yeah. I just called it the LR effect. Yeah, basically. It's LR. That's yeah. all you do. To, that's all you do to kill people. So uh, that's all we had to do. Yeah, it's 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 somewhat for me. It's like it's, it's too easy to it's, use. Yeah, exactly. 
But at the same time, I, I abuse it because I can. Oh, no, there's no way that you're not going to abuse it. It's a part of the game. It's a mechanic in the game. You're going to use it, you know? Yeah, oh, for sure. But it's just tempting. It's tempting to use it, but at the same time, I don't want to, you know? So no, I know exactly how you feel. L.A. Noir, though, I ended up just doing it because I'm like, whatever. I had a lot of fun watching the story elements of L.A. Noir. Like, your brother and I, I guess I played it, but your brother and I would sit there, and that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to see the story elements, so. Hoping maybe to kind of get back into that with Grand Theft Auto V cool. here. Be able to do this. But it might be fun at one point for maybe you and I to try and sit. Did you just throw something, or are you punching? Um, I think <laughs> I switched my guns, yeah. I thought you were throwing shit. Did you find yeah, a I, rock? I threw like a Hail Mary, or a Hail Mary. A haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a Hail Mary. A Hail Mary punch. <laughs> we all know about those. Those Hail Mary punches. <laughs> or it could be the, other, it'd be the other way around when you're getting down to confessional. Like, <laughs> go out and say 12 haymakers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. This has got to be fucking Russia. There's too much snow. Oh, for sure. Alright, I think I killed just about everybody. Let's get my getaway vehicle. I saw a really cool... I saw a really cool graphic. I thought it was cool. Um, I saw a cool graphic that showed like the city, four or five, and it yeah. put it in context of other cities, like how big it would be if it was Toronto, how big it would oh, be if it was Manhattan. Cool. So it was like an outline of the city, and then it, they would paste it on there so you could see like kind of how it was almost like the entire Manhattan Island. Really? Uh, Manhattan was skinnier and longer, so it didn't fit that way, but there was still parts on the outside that you can see. I was like, wow, that's pretty big. Is it, is it this game, or is it the one, the, the Dead Rising game that's about to come out, that they're like, it's bigger than, like, all the other games combined for the map? This one. Is it this one? Yeah. All... I think it's, it's Dead, or Dead Rising as well. Yeah. But, I almost said Dead Rising 2, but I would confuse people. Yeah. Oh, God, you're driving. <laughs> oh, God, I'm driving. You want to drive? I'll Craig, drive. Craig gets to drive. I'm driving. Why am I driving on the right? Isn't Russia left? Uh, that Hold just means up. we're not in Russia. Hold LT to break or reverse and vehicle stuff. Just like every other game we've ever played in LA Noir. Be cool! They ain't made this car yet! You, just, One. you totally just ran that. Uh, I say there's a chopper, there's a chopper. Oh, oh, that is a tr Ooh, I want to drive the tractor. <laughs> See, I get so distracted in these games because they want you to do the missions and stuff, but yeah. it's so tempting to just steal a tractor and just drive it around. <laughs> yeah. Like. Oh! Oh, I thought I was gonna... You're a terrible driver. I am a terrible driver. You're done. You're done driving. I revoked your license. I'm actually a good driver in games. These, actually, the Grand Theft Auto games I'm not very good at. I'm because I think they're more really realistic in terms of like the sliding and whatnot. Yeah, I'm. I'm really good. I always have been because I played so much in the Grand Theft Autos. Yeah. I was good at like if there's like tr four lanes of traffic and they're all full, I can thread the needle between uh -huh. two cars and still be going full speed to take out the mirrors. That's me with like the Saints Row, Saints Row I games. I say that now and then later I'm going oh, you're to be gonna crashing everywhere because I said It's going to be great. Oh, you're yeah. a man down. It's alright. We didn't need them. That just means more for us, right? Yeah, exactly. Split the money. But that's what I would do with uh, the Saints Row's game. I'd be able to go through and I'm talking, Burke and I would go and he's like, you, you drive. <laughs> And I would just go through, I get so, because it's more of like a fictionalized driving experience mm -hmm. on that, so it's not as realistic, but I got so good at just being able to manipulate it. And go, oh, you gotta shoot it by yourself. Oh, wow, a lot of cops. Oh, it's a headshot. That's a double kill. <laughs> oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I missed him. So you can just go like this. Yeah. Die, you cocksuckers! <laughs> I always loved the, uh, I mean, first I were playing, like, I don't even remember how old I was, but, like, a lot of that stuff was inappropriate when I was young. I was oh, very first, much so. Yeah, I, I should not have been playing those games, technically. I learned I learned a lot from Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I, actually had a, I actually had a friend, I won't name names, but um, he, he rolled his car, Right, going down a road, dirt road in the winter, uh -huh. and he rolled it into the ditch, and his car was upside down and it was still running. And because he played Grand Theft Auto, he got he he was still conscious. He got out of the car, and like got as far away as possible, and it lit on fire and everything. He's like, and because of the game, like, cause he's like, I knew that car was gonna light on fire because that's what happens in the games. <laughs> So I, it actually uh, could have saved someone's life. That's so great. So Grand Theft Auto, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, hurt people. It doesn't ruin people. It actually makes them better. <laughs> makes them smarter. Exactly. <laughs> makes them wiser. And that's the lesson for today. It is that Grand Theft Auto makes you wiser and a better person 
for all of society. Have a nice night, everybody.